Why, hello there, and welcome back to uh, Chrono Trigger. Uh, we took a break last week, uh, just so, uh, because it turns out San Antonio has decided that it's going to rain every weekend, which uh, messes with my back. So, uh, let's get back into it. We are in the dawn of prehistory, looking for footsteps to follow. Uh, our team is Chrono, Marley, and Ayla. Let's start looking for... I think we have to go back to the campsite. Alright, take a look around. Let's mm, lead that way. Uh, maybe we have to talk to the villagers. Yeah. That's the trading hut. You have no thing, no thing, no trade. Bang, pedal, horn, feather. Give me six, three each, two kind. I give you a good, strong thing. Lightning stun dinosaur, you know. Go hunt hunting range. Get pedal, fang, horn, feather. When rain, rare monster come out. Rare one, good hunt. Yeah, I'll be tracking that thing. Yes, okay, Petal and Fang for the Ruby Gun, Petal and Horn for the Shaman's Bow, Petal and Feather trade Stone Arm, Fang and Horn trade Mammoth Tusk, Fang and Feather, Ruby Vest, Horn and Feather, Stone Helm. I tell you, good thing, Ruby Vest strong against fire. Not too hot one wear. And this guy will sell me potions, mid potions, and panacea. No need for that, right? All right. Don't forget to collect all the various dino bits. I remember. I remember. Uh, let's see, just double check that there's nothing else to do in Ayla's hut. I mean, there's plenty to do in Ayla's hut, but... Let's not get into that. Okay, okay. Huh? Misi reptites come from meeting grounds, go south, forest maze. There we go. Marquino, no see all day. <laughs> not a, not small loss. Forest maze, scary place, many monsters, many paths. Chief, be careful. There's no need to be careful. We've got the power of God and anime on our side. Reptite strong. Chief, take this. Obtained four potions. Reptite leave footprint when run. Follow print, find lair. Thanks, my dude. Reptite scales, cold blood, hard to beat. Drink happy water? Drink, feel good. Always. HP and MP restored! Go, y'all! Forest maze! Kino. Kino, what you do? Say now! Kino, sorry, Ayla. Kino, take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla say like Chrono. Kino mad. Ayla, you don't have- no, hit him harder, Ada. Hit him harder. Kino know why Ayla hit? Ayla no like Kino. No. Ayla like Kino best. So Ayla know what Kino do bad thing. Bad thing not good. Pull yourself together, Kino. Ayla. Kino sorry, Ayla. Way to screw everything up, Kino. Kino, sorry, Chrono. Give thing back, Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptite. Where Reptite go? Run trees. There. Ela go. Kino go back village. Ela gone. Kino protect Ioka. Okay, Ela. Get out of here. God, I... He's the worst. Kino is objectively the worst. Kino man. Ela die. Ela have baby. Then Kino chief. Ayla, kind of get that. Mm. Follow Reptite. Get Chrono thing. All right, got ourselves a mid potion. Oh no, birds. I 
forgot these guys get spicy. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, they feel against ice, because we gotta learn our dual text with these two. Or just hit him hard enough. The most important thing to remember is that Ayla hits like a truck. One of the reasons that we love her. Okay, a little furry dude. Two little furry dudes. Yeah, apparently prehistoric birds fart fire. <laughs> Who knew? The archaeology, it was wrong. Uh, let's do... Mm, yeah, we're okay. We can take those two out and keep Marley healing. Who's uh, who's the third person, Tom? If it's you, I assume it's you and Jen. Ooh, a crit from Krona. God, the music on this game slaps so hard. Ayla learned kiss. I love her. I'm gonna go over here. Obtained a mid potion. Like, I think a half of the, like a good half of these treasure chests trigger uh, enemies, but that's okay. We're in it for the XP. All right. Monkey done throwed us at our girl. Slash this guy. Lightly heal an ally and restore. Jump back. Kiss myself. Oh, A mystery guest. Hey, Rob. How's it going, bro? Everybody, welcome back to the stream for one of the greatest games ever made. Another Athenian water. Okay, let's see. Here we go. All right, we're gonna focus our fire on the big one first. Oh. Yeah, or we'll take out the little guys. Why not? Throw some heals on Chrono. Three hundred fourteen on Ayla's crit. She's a beast. All right, getting some petal and fangs. I forget if there's any speed tabs or anything in this area, but. I'm keeping my eyes out for the little gleamy gleams. Let me push her off there. I will say this, uh, following the absolute debacle that was uh, my Resident Evil 7 playthrough, it feels so good to play a game <laughs> that's, that's like less stressful and more fun. <laughs> I'm not saying that this game, you know, uh, uh, isn't challenging uh, at times, but it's certainly not punishing. It's not trying to hurt me. I did have fun with the 
poop drinking competition. Of course, we got in our practice earlier with the soda drinking competition at the Millennial Fair, so. Uh, excellent little, uh, uh, little example of intrinsic game design in that uh, it had already trained you for what you would need to do in that moment uh, with a previous thing. Oof, dive bomb. Crit from Chrono for 224, and now it's mad. Yeah, it's soup. This is a Christian Minecraft server. We don't drink here. This is just like ACU. Uh, for those that, uh, that aren't aware, uh, when I first went to college, I went to a private Christian university in Abilene, Texas, uh, where drinking of any sort would get you uh, uh, expelled from school and removed off campus. Uh, and ACU did not have fraternities, because clearly fraternities, the purpose of them was to promote drinking, so we had social clubs instead. Uh, that, because I was a theater major, I also uh, never had time to join or interact with, so not like it did me any good in any Marley's level goes up. There's a chest down there that I can loop round to when I get back to that lower point, so I have to try and remember that. Oh, we gotta get this weird winged ape first. Okay, Chrono needs a kiss. We'll give Chrono a kiss. And let's throw the aura on Ayla, and I think that we can wind slash these dudes. Since they lined up so prettily. No, oh, not that does nothing. Okay, let's just uh let's just go back to regular attacks then. Ayla coming in clutch. Boom ba boom. Get wrecked, monkey. Now we'll have to check my uh there we go. Another panacea. We'll have to check my inventory later and see how many Catch me. Catch me sleeping. I'm gonna get that mid ether son. Yeah, but otherwise, it's been a lovely day. Made myself some delicious stuffed peppers last night and uh, uh, some uh, fried rice this morning, so. Ran another one of my D&D games, and all good. How's everybody else's weekend been treating them? <laughs> nice. I know that I could just use lightning on these guys, but I'll save it. loop all the way back around. I did. I'm a fool. Okay. That's fine. And before we duck into the lair, let's go ahead and throw some auras on the folks that need it. No, it's only, only one MP. All right. Reptite layer, let's go! I I have finally recovered. I even took a, a day off from playing the infinitely more uh, more fun 
uh, Resident Evil 8, uh, just so that I could catch my breath and take a day where I wasn't stressed out. Because, uh, guys, I don't know if you saw the stream, but Resident Evil 7 nearly destroyed me. Look at these guys deal with lightning. Pretty good, I'd say. Let's see how they deal with ice. They don't hit too hard, so that's nice. Yeah, Resident Evil. Uh, the hardest game I have yet played. Uh, I played it on normal and I'm not good at video games anymore, so let that be a lesson to me. Uh, meanwhile, I'm playing Resident, Resident Evil 8 on easy mode and having a blast. It's, <laughs> it's like the best parts of Resident Evil 7 combined with the best parts of Resident Evil 4. Uh, which was my favorite game because it was so like actiony and uh, and easy to access. Uh, much much better. I, I don't. It's not that it's less scary because I think it's actually more scary, but it feels like I have more control over what I'm doing, uh, which is of course the reason that people play games. Is gonna kiss herself. And I hate to do this so early into the stream, uh, I'm gonna duck out for just a second to let my dogs out, uh, cause they're raising a ruckus, so we're going to pause the game for just a moment and we'll be right back. So hang tight everybody. Okay, uh, dogs let out, saw the rain, decided they went directly back inside. I kind of know how they feel. All right, let's get back at it. Um, tuck that right. Okay. Further and further into the holes we go. Now this biggin, this biggin gets a face full of lightning. Eighty four. Oof. He's, we're going to throw Chrono both of the heels on this one. Defense lowered by Electric Shock and Ayla coming to finish the blow. Attacks, Chrono Cast Lightning. And now Marley can attack since it is shocked. Electricity stuns lizards, and that's the biggest lesson that we can get out of uh, out of this. It's science, you can't argue with it. Yeah, recovering from the Resident Evil stream uh, took me a couple of days, some tea, uh, 
I had a talk with my dad. He's a therapist. He told me that everything would be okay. I obtained a stone helm, which we are going to equip. Uh, nope, Ayla's already got one. Stone helm on Chrono. Iron helm on that one. All right. Yeah, you know what? Let's go, guys. Let's go! It's only a matter of time before uh, Chrono learns the multi-lightning, and it's all downhill from there, y'all. These guys don't stand a chance. Everyone's kicking dirt at us. Sleep bombs like Charles Atlas. Oh, I should have lightened there. Or on Ayla. Lightning on this guy. Ayla, attack that guy. I need to play this. I need to play Chrono Trigger music whenever I'm trying to, like, accomplish things in my real life. Like, you need motivation to do the dishes? Chrono Trigger. Oh, calling a friend, huh? Your friend about to get rocked. The trick is more lightning. Hey man, let's see. We've got... We don't have any ethers. We've got 30 MP, he's got 14 out of 40, so still a ways to go before we have to manage Chrono's MP. So he's going to be our magical workhorse throughout most of this. I'm already getting high ethers. Uh, high ether is, uh... I want to say that that's uh, Hunter S. Thompson's favorite. Or was. Cleans up that guy. And an attack and attack. We don't have to do that, but we want the XP, so. And we want the pedal and fade. Oh, we learned the drill kick and roundillo kick. It is on now, folks. But, uh, that thing actually is what we don't want to do. We're going a little bit more health, and then let's go on ahead and try our drill kick combo. Ooh. Oh, it's lovely. We love to see it. Now his level increased, more technical points, and let's go on ahead, and it's about time for a mid ether. It's a little bit more. Yep. All right. Bring it. Bring it. We ain't scared of nothing. Real quick, Bologna. You horrible monkey monstrosity. Uh, ice on this thing. Escaped. No. We want the XP. Oh well. 234 ain't bad. And double check, see if there's anything up here. Yep. More XP. Needs a little bit of healing. Ayla's asleep and I can't kiss her awake. Uh oh. 
That's okay. Chrono can... Oh, recovered from shock already. Oh, no. Let's go ahead and throw ice on that thing. Lightning there. And let's finish that as quick as we can and Rondello kick it. With the double team! Take a moment to aura whirl. Baboom. Now I think in this, okay, so we want to wait to go there until we duck into this room and get whatever treasure is hidden there. It feels very strange to play this game on an Xbox controller. Hey, monkey, what up? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Bring it on, monkey. Shapapapow. The monkey cannot contend with the rondillo kick. Yeah, I want to say that this leads us to another treasure. That if we don't get it now, we can't get it on this playthrough. Beetleman. <laughs> Bugs don't like ice. Let's save our MP. I mean, we've got a save point coming up relatively soon, but we don't know how many more of these little minor encounters are going to pop up. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, as far as other marathon streams, uh, I currently have a game on Sunday evenings that I run, like actually two games alternating, but I don't think I'm doing anything Sunday afternoon. That seems like as good a time as any for me to stream Resident Evil 8, I'd say. Get him, Chrono! Get him! Okay, it takes one full round of everyone attacking to kill one of these bug things just with physical attacks, but I save on the MP, and they don't do that much damage, so... On future playthroughs, once we hit New Game Plus territory, this just becomes a cakewalk. Go! Give me your XP! No, not our own world. Light. Recovered from shock already. Stop that. There we go. That's the double team we want. Yeah, I think RE8 on Sunday. I mean, usually I have trouble sleeping, so uh, by the time Amanda gets up and is ready for work, uh, may as well be when I'm on. Oh, okay, now that just loops me back around to the beginning. Huh? Well, we have no regrets. No regrets. No time for regrets. Get him, Ayla. Ayla's my girl. 
I'm sleep. Oh, I slept. Let's see if Kerner can take him out. The Megasaur always had the cutest design. Oh, it's just you and me now, pal. No! Sleep! Still Brooklyn! Alright. Well, no treasure like we were hoping for, but we did get a little bit more XP. So, not a waste. Never a waste. We always we must always look upon the bright side. And at this point we may as well go Ooh! We may as well go whole hog because we've got a save point coming up and we can drop a shelter there. Ah, uh, look at him throw his little mushroom buddy all over the joint. Uh, let's go on ahead and aura world and then just let Ayla rock that monkey's world. Get him! Get him, girl! <laughs> Mushroom punk. Ella and Krona get a level up. Drill kick the monkey. Done in one. Ice that thing. Oh, they just escaped. That's right. Oof, gone, no problem. Okay. Inventory. Use a shelter. Everybody heals up and we save. in the world? Could those filthy apes have crafted something this advanced? Azala! And so the hairless apes arrive. Oh, and these new ones appear cut from a finer cloth than Ayla. Perfect. This should make things easier. Tell me, apes, what is the purpose of this device? Tell Azala about the gate key? Or this guy. I suppose you need some motivation. So be it. Come, Nisbel. Oh no. Oh no, they brought in a hot Triceratops. He's so swole. This dude's getting lightninged. There's an AoE attack that's pretty rowdy, so our job is going to be keeping everybody topped off, especially Marley and Ayla. Uh, Chrono's just going to basically chain cast lightning as best he can. And we're just going to try and chip through this dude's health. Unfortunately, we have no... Ooh, electric discharge. Ooh, forgot about that. Yeah, let's go ahead and give everybody an aura whirl. Late, but in earnest. <laughs> yeah, that dino, he did... I mean, he may have skipped lug today. I'm not sure, but... He got some big arms, you know. Dinosaur Swall. Uh, come on, guys. I may have missed some point of strategery. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, spend a little bit healing and get Chrono back to casting lightning. Uh, Ayla, why don't you give Marley a little kiss?
And now that his defense is lowered, let's throw a drill kick at him and see how well that does. Eh, 190 for ice isn't bad. Right. Dwayne the Rock Johnsaurus. Ooh, 467 is good at this level. An electric discharge. We are going to lightning him. Run duo kick and keep aura on Chrono. See if we can get this before the next lightning discharge and aura on Marley. No, oh, that electric discharge. Ooh. Oh, Ayla's down. That ain't good. Uh, Athenian water. Everybody, why don't you take some time to mid potion up? Uh, mid potion up. Mid potion up. And this is why we hang on to our items. Oh, come on, Chrono. Keep it going, buddy. Keep it going. Yeah! Tell Jax to get in here. Oof! Uh, give Marley a little kiss there. We've got to keep shocking him to keep the defense up. And while his defense is going, Drill Kick does a lot of damage. Here's hoping I can outpace him before he does the electric discharge. Hmm. No. We're gonna take the time to aura whirl. Ayla, kiss yourself. You gotta keep your health up, girl. Lightning. Around a low kick. This is lowered by the electric shock, so that pumps her up from 170 to like 260. And if we can get the drill kick in before he does the discharge... Maybe enough? Pow, pow, come on! Nope, still going. Phew. Oh, that hurts so much. We're gonna do it again. An aura whirl it. Ooh, okay, we should we should still be good. We should still be good. Uh, Chrono's real low, so we're gonna give him a little smoochy smooch. And then now that we're back up and running, lightning. Give him one more little kiss. Keep an eye on my MP here. Uh, aura on Ayla and drill kick before he recovers. Come on, baby, come on. Right on top of his Triceratops head. Oh! Ooh, that discharge. I mean, generally speaking, you never want to hear. Ooh, that discharge. Uh, have I seen those uh, Guinness Cold Brew things? I have not. Uh, want any no good? No good. Oh, the, you loved it instead. No, uh, Guinness Cold Brew. It sounds... I mean, it's the two great things that go great together. Uh, so, Guinness makes cold brew coffee now? I'm in. Like, they're doing the same nitrogen, uh, brewing that, like, Starbucks is doing. I'm in. 100%. See, that may be the thing. I haven't gone to a Walmart in years because, uh, uh screw those guys. They don't want to pay their employees. I don't want to shop there. Give thing back Crone now. Very well. You've won today. But know that we reptites are the rulers of this world. Conspiracy theory confirmed. We'll not surrender it to you filthy apes. 
Is the gate key all right? Oh, thank goodness. It looks like it's okay. Azala, come anytime. Ayla, no. Ugh. Ugh. That's what we get for drinking so much soup. Chrono leave? No chrono. Ayla, no fun. Yeah. <laughs> Zala is... Senator Kelly confirmed. Thanks, Ayla. I learned a lot from you. Like how to party. Sorry, Chrono. Kino, try be strong now. Even more strong, Chrono. Come again, Chrono. Have party. Drink, eat, dance, fight, fun. Ayla, I love you. You know, I hate you. Come again, Chrono. Marley, Luca, too. All right, before we go, we're going to go to the trader's hut. And let's see. We've got 14 petals, 14 fangs, five horn, or three horn, and five feather. I am uncomfortable with you, Mrs. Robinson, Ayla. Look, man. She's the best. She's 100%. She's just... Alright, let's see. Uh, do petal and fang. Trade for the ruby gun. Uh, let's talk to this dude and see what we can get. Yes. All right. So I've got three horn. Which I can get the mammoth tusk with fang and horn. Yeah. Fang and horn. Fang. And horn. Yeah, Ayla, uh, she's Colonel Girlfriend's great, 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 great grandmother. Uh, she deserves a dude that's not into her descendants. I mean, look, man, what happens in 65 million BC? It's an Aragorn, uh, uh, Arwen kind of thing, I, I would say. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can do a petal and feather or fang and feather. Hmm. Go on ahead and do fang and feather. No, Chrono's definitely not good enough for her. Nobody's good enough for my queen. It's not a matter of good enough for the queen. I'll do it for now. No! Oh, I hit the wrong button. We don't need another... Yeah, okay. No. No, we do not want to trade. But, let's check our equipment. Chrono gets the Mammoth Tusk. Uh, I can get the Ruby Defense 45 and halves fire damage, but let's, uh... For the ruby gun. Uh, defense 32. Defense 33, speed plus 2, has fire damage. She's already got that. Defense 32, defense 45, and has fire damage. Let's give that to her. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's duck out. And... Creep up here, see if we can't... All right, this was the hunting grounds, yes? No, no. This looks like an entrance, but it is very cleverly not. Oh, these old sprite games, you can never tell. Can I, can I get to the hunting grounds this time through, or is that something that I have to come back the second time? Up north of the loop. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Hunting range!
There we go. Now we're talking. It's, ah, yes. These things. Oh, come on. Get in. Get in. Okay, we'll just clean it. Oh, forgot how hard these things hit. The primordial ooze. Oh, they're hitting my girl. They're hitting my girl, Luca, super hard. Okay. Two feathers, two petals. We need horn. Tech Marley. Just boost everybody up. All right. And we're really aiming for is we want it to rain so that we can fight that move. But, there he is, Ooh, right there. Hey, don't let your dreams be dreams. 283, down to the one. Oh man, Chrono is straight up out of MP, okay. But, don't think that he can hurt us anymore. I think it's all bring us down to one, and then he can't really do anything else to hurt us. We now we just have to kill him before he uh, before he runs away. Yeah. All right, we're good. A game that messes with the mind of the player. Of course, if there had been any other monsters out, oh, we'd be double screwed. 248 XP, 30 treat. Marley learns haste. You strong? Here, take. Obtain three petals, three fangs, three horns, and three feathers. The whole nine yards. Yeah, if you got like, like 10 runs. You're very strong. Take this too. And obtained the third eye, which is what we're really here for. Now, uh, let's see. X, Marley. Just throw that aura around everybody. And... Equipment. Third eye. Doubles evasion. So he would lose... Two strength and two attack, but his evasion skyrockets, so we're going to give him the third eye. Uh, that, combined with Marley's haste, is going to be, in fact, beast mode. And that's why Marley, like, Marley Marley pretty continually has a, has a place in my party. Uh, just because, like, hasted Chrono, hasted uh, uh, Cyclone hits them all. Hasted Chrono, Hasted Ayla, that right there is just, it's unfair. It's unfair. Yeah, but I, I want to uh, I want to keep Marley with the uh, gold stud so that my heals are super cheap. Ordinarily, I would be like, yeah, make her harder to hit, but right now she's healing for like one HP or like one MP. Yeah, ha Hasted Frog is... Oh, oh, it's a thing of beauty. Like these guys, I can take them out with one cyclone. Nah, we're two fangs and two horns and two feathers. It's pretty good. Uh, pretty good haul from killing these frogs. And they're only doing one damage, so.
is a pittance. A pittance, these frogs. Two fangs, two horns, two feathers. Yeah. Rain, but we've already gotten our new, so I don't think he shows up again. Yeah, I think I think I've got enough for all that I need right now. Eventually, I could like I could farm it and come back for uh, for more, but I think I've got all I need for the moment. All right, cause let's see. Yes, I want to know the items. I need petal and horn for the bow, petal and feather for the arm. Uh, I've already got the mammoth tusk. We want more ruby vests and stone helm. So fang and feather and horn and feather. Fang and feather, horn and feather. Fang and feather, horn and feather. Horn. Feather. Yes. Need at least one more stone helm, I th uh, Fang. Feather. Yes. And then what was the... Hmm. Is it we can afford to do... Petal and Feather. And then let's take a break and... Yes, stone arm. That was what I wanted. Awesome. Uh, what was the last thing? The bow. So we need to remember which one we want for the bow. Yes, a bow is... Do -do, pedal and horn. Cool. And a whore. All right. Take a quick break. Equip our inventory stuff. Ruby vest for Chrono. She still needs. Well, yeah, we'd better get her a ruby vest too. This the extra speed is nice, but stone arm for robo mammoth tusk shaman's bow she's good at the ruby gun stone helm for luca we need a stone helm for him and a stone helm for the two stone helms two ruby vests Stone Helm is Fang and Feather. Fang and Feather and Horn and Feather. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's go on ahead and do the Horn and Feather since that's what we've got. And we'll take one more trip back through. Arm up a little bit more fang and feathers. I know that this is the uh, the thrilling Chrono Trigger gameplay that all of you want, but uh, it's it's good to get this out of the way. Don't help Ruby that. Bow, bow, bow. Right. Thrill as John uh, faces the worst boss that he can ever face. Bombers! Which I had to explain to somebody the other day that uh, capitalism is not commerce, and vice versa, and uh, you have the differences thereof, so... I can only do that once or twice before I just get tired of it. Now, as I recall, if it's raining, the frogs become, like, super strong at this early level. Yeah, capitalism is always the real villain in any video game, this one included. Luca got to level up, so baller for her. Way to go, girl. Keep them levels up, inventor girl. We need you. Well, 
actually probably want to grind a little more so that when we get uh, our boy Frog, we can get him some stuff too. To drive off the wrong kind of fan. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, someone's always going to... Uh, uh, there's always going to be somebody who wants to come in here and talk about economics, but... Man. No, I, 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 yeah, in which case, you are capitalism. Uh, but still, even in that moment, you become the thing that you hate most. You mean, like, city planning? Yeah, I mean, you could do it. Uh, mutual aid and all that. Uh, in... Yeah, you can make a socialist utopia in SimCity. Make the public works free? That's an important thing. I mean, just because you are able to determine where things go doesn't mean that you are depriving people of the means of production. Box go. I go. Ooh, I missed my new. Okay, it's all right. I'll catch him next time. We can go camping in that one spot. There's less dated reference city skyline. What is that? Is that another game? Is that, is that the kids' new Sim City? City skylines. I saw. Ah, oh, okay. I saw on the uh, uh, on the Twitters earlier today uh, that uh, people are apparently referring to those uh, who were born in my kind of time frame as geriatric millennials. I mean, it's a fair cop, y'all. Like, I don't know why everyone why everyone was getting all up in arms about it, like. Call it for what it is. I mean, I know that I feel older and older every day. Uh, oh, yeah, go for it. I was born in 1981. I turned 40 this year. And the first time that I heard the phrase millennial uh, was used to describe uh, my high school class. It was, uh... We were going to be the first, you know, the first adults of the new millennium. And that was why, uh, you know, we had to go to college and spend a lot of money and get good jobs. Uh, because that was the only way to do it, of course, was college. Nope. The other one. I don't know how to rapidly get to. It's stuck. No, okay, then. Generational boundaries are weird. Yeah, I mean, like, like my brother, uh, my older brother, he's he's older by like four and a half, five years. Um, he got the cool, you know, like Generation X, and they were disaffected and sarcastic, you know, a bunch of disaffected loners that didn't trust authority, and then got kind of ignored. Come here. Different social uh, uh, different sociological institutes that study and dictate these things could start and end dates at different places. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm just going off of, like, it was... It was in, uh, like, leading up to our graduation. Uh, like, our valedictorian speech was all about, you know, like, we're the first... You know, the first, uh... Uh, the first adults of the new millennium is the year, you know, the far off, far flung future of the year 2000. There he is. Yeah, there's no way that I can get over there. I'm... Yeah, but it was very much the, you know, the, the old Conan O'Brien skits in the year 2000. Uh, in the year 2000 rolled around, we were all like hanging out, waiting to see if Y2K would kill us all, you know, if it would send, uh, if it would send airplanes hurtling from the sky and make grand, you know, granddad's pacemaker blow up and, 
You know, the last, I think the last time that my generation didn't have some sort of constant, uh, uh, constant gripping fear hanging over us was in that quick little time span. There he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, you know, in, in that, in the halcyon days in between, uh, in between the end of 2000 and the beginning of, uh, of 2001. You know, that was it. That was, that was the time that we had. Yeah, if you're born between 80 and 2000, you're a millennial. No point in curing. Just do the damage. Get the horns. So, like, I know Nathan. Nathan's a, a little bit, uh, a little bit younger than me. I think. I think that y'all, like the rest of y'all, are about the same age. An old crusty man. And that's why, like, I can't be offended when they're like, "Oh, these people are, you know, the geriatric millennials." It's like, yeah. Yeah. Can't be mad at it, really. There we go. One cure doesn't. It's the exact same price as Aura. Thanks, Silver Stud. Alright, I think that should do it. I think that's enough to get us what we need. Though technology and, as a result, society moves fast enough now that 20 years is far too broad a range for a cohort to find out any uniting common factors. Well, I mean, any any uniting common factors except for the fact that we have all been uh, thoroughly underserved by the ideals taught to us by the previous generation. You know, we were told... Uh, uh, we were told to study hard and go to college and we could, you know, uh, we could be whatever we want. And, uh, so it turns out that was a lie. Uh, I mean, we could still be whatever we want, but we may not get paid for it, so. Despite all being, yeah, by yet, some yet's TA. Yeah, but I mean, like, those those born between 80 and 90 have an, a very important thing in common. I completely missed it. And that important thing is, uh, yeah, that's not unique to millennials. That's just everyone after the boomers, precisely. So we have that in common with Gen X. It's just that Gen X, you know, they didn't want to hang out with us because we weren't we weren't cool. Fang and feather and horn and feather. All right. Let's meanwhile let's engage in some healthy bartering. Horn and feather. Yes, one more stone helm, and I think that's our last stone helm. Let me double check. Before we overexert ourselves. Stone helm, stone helm, stone helm, stone helm. Now we need one more stone helm for frog, right? Yeah. But, you know, hey, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe, just maybe, we will be able to, uh, I still want trade. Maybe just maybe this will this will drive our uh, our people to kind of focus on more important things than uh, than just making money since we don't have any of it. You know, Stone Age capitalism. This is uh, commerce, not necessarily capitalism. We're not giving away. We're not selling uh, uh, selling our labor. We're trading actual physical goods. So. I mean, even ANCAPs can get behind this. And let's see, what was it? Fang and Horn was the Mammoth Tusk? Yes. I forget if Frog can use that. Why not? 
maybe maybe we'll have we'll have plenty of cash i mean the big question is what good will it do us uh anyway let's uh well yeah because like of course they couldn't take over the market the boomers wouldn't let them just like us the boomers still won't using the store of value gained through your labor to acquire something else of value yeah we're not selling our actual like physical dignity right oh, there's a leaf package up there yeah yeah crazy suicide rates indeed uh, we're going to fire world a lot of these things and then go on ahead and throw no he doesn't need to care he is fine uh oh, I forgot these things below your tabs. Yeah, and they're not bitter about that at all. <laughs> the fact that they're a forgotten generation. Uh, you'll never see Generation X really bitter about being passed up. Well, and uh, and frankly, if we see, uh, personally speaking, I think that if we millennials see the Zoomers overtake us, uh, good. Oh, these things, these things are immune to magic. Oh, they gotta be. Well, let's hit them anyway. I think every, I think every generation has. Uh, I think every generation kind of gets like a... Oh, nice. Uh, we have an inborn fear of being replaced, right? By the generation that uh, uh, that follows after us. I don't share that fear. Honestly, there's a part of me that kind of looks forward to it. Like, go ahead, guys. Right. Feel free to replace us. Uh... If there was something, you know, like, like, yeah. It's all yours, kids. And not only that, the faster that you make it yours, uh, the more revolutionary you are. There's that meme going around. Uh, I, I forget uh, who the actor is, Kevin something, uh, who's like walking and eating cereal. Like, what are you doing? Revolution is like, yeah, yeah. You know, all the stuff that we couldn't do. Uh, Hopefully you guys will, if there are any, you know, oh, there we go. Uh, if there are any Zoomers uh, watching this, uh, guys, take the world, do great things, it's yours. Uh, don't let anybody ever tell you that it's not yours. Best thing I ever do is produce a useful kid. And, like, I haven't even done that. I don't... And frankly, at this point, I don't think I'm gonna produce a useful kid, probably. Uh, I, think I'm, I think I'm gonna have to be okay with just being as cool to as many people as I can and hopefully leave this world better than when I found it. And that's why, if y'all got friends that are uh, uh, that are continually bored, uh, especially people that feel lonely and disconnected, tell them to subscribe to this channel. Uh, my goal with this actually is to kind of build a community and be there for people that need it. Yeah, influence is influence, whether you're parenting or not. And it doesn't matter if it's not my actual spawn. Uh, I mean, hopefully I've been a good enough influence on people like my niece and nephew that they're fantastic. I've got a lot of... Uh, uh, I think if, if folks like them are, are eventually running things, uh, all the better. They're just the best. And if I had anything to do with that, anything at all, I did a pretty good job. Yes, yes, monkey. We're going to... Fire World those two. that monkey
yeah, uh, you no, know, unfortunately, no, uh, uh, no pride parades this year uh, because of the panini. Which I think between between the panini and the Backstreet Boys reunion tour that the uh, that the Game Grumps have coined is probably uh, the most lighthearted way way to make fun of the horrible things that have happened this entire year. Dude, you gotta go. That thing is... That thing's irritating me. Nice. Pretty sure if it's like the fourth or fifth time that Luke has killed something... ...by hitting it for 69 damage. Yeah, that's, that's the weird thing. Like, I tend to be a pretty... like, a, a fairly nihilistic guy... Just in, like, my personal life, in my day-to-day -day things, but, uh, uh, as Jeremy says in the chat, I know you guys can't see it on the screen, uh, we've attempted to instill a, a solid sense of protest, uh, in the generation that he's raising. And it's good. That's why I don't lose hope. Like, everything... everything's currently kind of horrible, yeah. But, like Henry Rollins said, right? This is what Joe Cocker was training us for. This is the reason that we had punk music. Uh, let's go, y'all. Now's the now's the last chance that that like we elder folk might have to actually stand up for something and to rebel. Better do it right. Mesozoic male. Uh, Mesozoic male. Me too. Yeah, let's do it. And the reason, uh, incidentally, that we uh, that we give Chrono the best stuff first is because Chrono is the only one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they like the offspring. That's fine. I don't like the offspring. That guy's got a PhD. Good for him. Uh, the reason that we give Chrono the best stuff first is because Chrono is the one who is going to be with us. For the absolute longest. Uh, conditionally, there may be people that we swap in and out depending on whether we need a certain uh, type of magic or what have you. Uh, but Chrono is constantly with us for quite some time. Let's just nape on you. He said in the middle of a, uh, of a talk about class consciousness and rebellion. Uh, like, screw the military-industrial complex. Uh, Napalm, perhaps not the most sensitive name, but... This game is over 20 years old, so... It, too, is geriatric. That is a weird thought, though. Age of this game. Oh. Oop. Poke the red star. That's not good. Am I even supposed to come up here? Is this the right way to the gate, or did I just do this part way early? Did I just do this part way early? Boop levels. Nathan, I just go the... Nathan, did I just go the exact wrong way? Oh, I feel such the fool. I know I wanted to, like, see Lavos a little bit, but... Where's my gate? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Oh! I am a fool! But a fool who's getting good XP. So, I can't be too aggro about it. Now we're in avoidy fighty mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the cats are always there to remind us that we live our lives by their schedule. 
As a cat mater D myself, uh, I, I am frequently subject to these winds. Point nine of a cat. Yeah, I, I get I get the distinct uh, I get the distinct sense that I have aired. Because ordinarily we'd have found the gate by now. neighborhood strays, even if they're just, like, hanging around outside. The weird thing was, like, growing up, I never wanted cats. I never liked cats. That was because growing up, our family had a stray cat that adopted us, and that thing was just pure evil. The most vicious, hateful creature just the absolute worst animal that you could imagine. Uh, I, of course I didn't want cats. I, I had grown up with a monster. But now I've got four idiot cats who are all like super snuggly and lovable and uh, uh, don't sink their teeth into my calf as I walk past. Yeah, yeah, and as Nathan points out, the cat's name, my mother named it Angel. Uh, which even before I had a sense of irony, uh, there it was. And, God, when that thing died, uh, I was happy to put it in the ground. What a, what a vicious, hateful beast that was. Angel, the, the most inappropriate name that you could possibly give a cat. Oh, that didn't do anything. 88! Good lord, kill that thing fast. Do me a favor and cure our boy Chrono. See, this is what happens if you get me talking about class consciousness and generational struggle. Uh, there's no generational struggle between, you know, between us and the Zoomers, and we need to stop being threatened by it. Uh, only class struggle. Oh, now it's blown its lid with its adorable little sticky outy volcano tongue. Yep. Okay. And this was not the right way. The way was up in the mountains. I'm a fool! But we did get to see lava, so it wasn't a... I hate what the Zoomers have done with the word cringe. I don't understand, like... There's apparently... Cringe is the opposite of based, and, uh, I, I guess, I don't know. Hey man, lang language is ever-changing, and, uh, it's pointless to, uh, uh, pointless to try and monitor it, you know? Like, let the kids have their language. Uh, never forget that we have the, uh, uh, that we invented the Tumblr lingo. And if we if we can be forgiven for those sins, they will be forgiven for theirs. 
I just don't like cringe. I'll tell you personally, I really like yeet. Like, it's a distinct word. It, uh, uh, slightly automatopoeic. It's not just to throw something, but you have to have great force. The difference between Yeet and Kobe. Uh, I can't wait until... It's just a matter of time, y'all. And then... Lumiere. Oh, Lumiere. Physical damage does... Very little to these guys. Magic it is. There we go. Yeah, these guys don't like magic. Not just thunder. All magic works against them. But physical damage, they got tough hides, so. The biggest thing is that some of Chrono's uh, attacks do wind damage, and you occasionally need wind damage to, uh, to break them. So. Luca learned Protect! The second support skill that we're going to be eventually abusing. Alright, we got our gate key. Jump down, off we go. HP and MP restored. Go on ahead and take a moment to save. Chat with our guy. What up, old man? Ah, Dreamstone. I'd forgotten how beautifully it shone. There's a man who knows the secret to working that stone. He resides near Medina, the village of Fiends. Yeah, dude, we met. Ah, uh, we don't need you yet, Robo. Oh, don't look so down, my dude. Medina Village, 1080. Now we go back, talk to our blacksmith bro. See what's up that dreamstone. Hey y'all, how's it going? Thanks for letting us come through your neighborhood again. Oh, the little sprites are so. Uh, that's right, the robo voice was, How may I be of assistance? Dear me! You truly found Dreamstone! Yes, that will do quite nicely. With that, I can make the blade whole again. But first, the Masamune. Now this Dreamstone. How in the world did you... No, I suppose it does not matter. Make yourselves at home! This will take some time. Luke is gonna lend a hand. All right, then. How are you going to fix it? Do not interrupt me while I'm trying to read. Of course. Beamstone must be refined if we are to repair the Masamune. But that's not all. The blade itself must be activated it's, uh, uh, as well. You work on the Dreamstone, I'll take care of the sword. I think The Blade itself is the name of a Joe Abercrombie novel. Uh, if you're uh, into, like, grimdark fantasy, do it. Okay, fear not. The great Luca knows her way around a workshop. I'm a girl. To reawaken the sword, I must first breathe life back into its shattered remains. You know, normal blacksmith stuff. This is pretty complicated. Think you can go somewhere else for a while? You're ruining my concentration. All right. 
It's done. You bring me the dreamstone. I'm done here too. Dreamstone goes in the crucible. All right, let's get started. Screen so bright, y'all. It's the Z chip. Sorry to keep you waiting. Luca with the perfect, the perfect distillation of a sword. Behold, behold, the Masamune in all its glory. Wow, that's the same sword we gave you? If you were expecting lesser work, you shouldn't have come to me. Okay, Chrono, let's take the Masamune to Frog. A sword can be used as a tool for ending lives or for saving them. It all depends on the one who wields it. Be sure you wield yours for the proper reason. Would you like to buy something? <laughs> yeah, man. Sell some stuff. We got... We got some things we don't need. We got a plasma gun. May inflict stop on robots. Uh, you know what? I'll sell that. We don't need it. Uh, sell the Golden Helm, sell the Iron Helm, got a lot of Iron Helms, I'm gonna keep that, sell those, sell that, keep the Stone Helm, keep the Ruby Vest, and uh, Magic Plus 2 will go ahead and sell Crimson Blade, sell the Plasma Gun, sell the Mirage Hand, sell the Bandit's Bow, alright. I mean, yeah, I know that we... In real life, but we're not worried about inflicting stop on robots when it's just easier to kill them. Alright. Uh, and then we need to go back here and back to 600... Back to this... Back to the uh, Dark Ages. I got one mustache hair that keeps flipping up and bugging me. <laughs> Been so long since I had a haircut, y'all. Bruce Canyon, 680. I know that you can't tell underneath my uh, my stylish do rag, but uh, or a wave cap. But y'all, I am just shaggy. Just cut my own hair. I'm not brave enough. I'm I'm growing it back out. I'm going full Viking again. Like, there's no reason for me not to. Got your own hair and the kids. Woo, Mr. Brave. I mean, if you got a bowl and scissors, you can give them the old uh, the old San Antonio special. All right, Get it this way. Down across the bridge. Over and down. Over and up into the cursed woods. We're gonna gonna just dash past these. You've come again. This sword. No, it could not be. Masamune. I must ponder this turn of events. You may remain here for the night. Frog flashback! Cyrus, you're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's long past time we reclaim the badge from the Frog King, and I need to see that sword with my own eyes. Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lean and I need you as well. See that you return. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall. Come what may. Well then, by your leave. Cyrus is a good bro. 
I also get the sense that Lean might be... There might be a, a Lancelot, uh, Guinevere kind of thing going on. Sir Cyrus! On behalf of the knighthood, we wish you a safe journey, and Godspeed, my brothers. I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from her enemies. That she is kept safe from her enemies. Pardon the delay. Let us be on our way. Glenn, you be careful too. Be well, your majesty. Nagas? In my forest? It's more likely than you think. Oh, Frog King. Yeah. So, you seek the hero's badge, Knight of the Kingdom of Men. Come and take it then if you can. That is what I mean to do. Nirvana Strike! Uh, I'm beaten. Filthy badge, do not think I'll forget this. My question is, who's our third party member? Like, I'm not sure if that's ever answered. I don't know if she ever pops back up. Gah! Then, watch out! Cyrus! Your sword! The Masamune! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing! Uh, you've not bested me yet. Cyrus, I I'm done for. Listen to me, Glenn. I will hold them here. Use that chance to escape. But, but stay, and they'll only kill us both. Go, Glenn! Hadn't you better worry about yourself, Cyrus? I do not think you have the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go! No! And with that, hero falls. Cyrus! Run. Run, Glenn. The Queen. Take care of Queen Lean. I beg. Music does such a great job of stirring this up. Cyrus? Cyrus! No! Uh, and you'll notice the rainbow on the screen, uh, Maga says, uh, Maga says equality. Hmm. What's the matter? Are you not going to try your luck? Uh, <laughs> like a scared little frog with no pawn to jump into. How about it, Lord Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Very well. No act of defiance goes unpunished. No! Uh. Fear to getting a workout. Yeah, buddy. All the voice acting. Uh. Yeah, ha, ha. that's more like it, you spineless wimp. Yeah, the adorable. That's a. Uh... The adorable rainbow of hope to the left is- yeah, yeah. The full orchestrated version rules, as does the all-piano one, that weird jazz-funk fusion album they put out. Yeah, uh, all of the Chrono Trigger-like soundtracks that I've heard are fantastic. Ten long years have passed. Have I the strength? No. Oh, Cyrus. Awaken, Chrono. I do not know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let us go to Magus's keep. His strength is no small thing. You understand the odds we face. Nothing can beat science. The good guys always win! Oh, Marley. Alright. Now we've got Frog, Marley, and Chrono. We still need Frog for, uh, or we still need Marley for her heals, because I think all Frog has is the tongue at this point. And yeah, even to this day, like, the stir. Ooh. 
Alright, frog. Get a stone helm. Get a ruby vest. Uh, you don't have the Masamune equipped yet because we have to get to the cutscene first. But once we do, we'll get you the heroes back. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, oh well. Wow. This, uh, the controls for the Steam version of the game, since I'm using an Xbox One controller, if you touch the stick, it's like, oh, you want to go left? We're going to go real left. Uh, but if you hit the, uh, uh, if you hit the control pad instead, it's just like, ah, I can only move so far. So it's kind of weird. I got to switch between them. That wasn't enough to kill it. Oof, that acid rain. Yeah, frogs. Frog's theme is just the the range of emotion that this game can make you feel with you know like a 16-bit uh, MIDI chipset is astounding. All right. Uh, off to Magus's Keep. But first, we need to stop in town, go to the market, see if this dude's got... Welcome! What can I do for you? Uh, no, you do not have any ethers for me, my dude. Hmm. I forgot where to get ethers. Corpsons, Dorino Inn, and the Residence. Now we're good. It wasn't the theme of Dora Mountains. No, it was okay. This was the coolest moment when we first saw it. Ah! Little kid voices are hard. Stop that! Oh no! It's Cyrus! Run! Thank you, Cyrus. Glenn, there are times when a man must stand and face the things that trouble him. But it hurts to be hit. I can't hurt another. Not, not even them. You're too soft, Glenn. Those are both real good, Jeremy. Like, I agree. Yeah. Dramatic reading time. Glenn, I've decided to join you in the knighthood. I thought as much. It'll be a fine night, I'm sure of it. Won't you come with me? I... I cannot. But why? You're a better sword than I. You always have been. I haven't the nerve it takes to be a knight. In a real battle, the fear would take me. No! Ah! Yeah! Yeah. Yeah, Cyrus is frog for hours, and then it's like, nope, nope, it's Glenn. And Glenn's a bit of Glenn's a bit of a punk. Glenn's a little bit of a coward. But as it said, even Cyrus is like, dude, you're a better swordsman than me. A memento of his friend. And the hero's badge. The Masamune, if you please. As he breathes through his skin and uses his eyes to push down the food the air. My name is Glenn. 
Long have I carried Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now I bear the Masamune as well. Henceforth I claim them as my own. I shall slay the fiend Lord Magus and restore our honor. I haven't seen the anime version. I just got, I just got goosebumps from that scene, that, ooh, that music. Ooh. And look, let's be honest, that one scene is worth more than any of the infinite charging your lasers that Akira Toriyama did in Dragon Ball Z. That right there, oh. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. Who's messaging me? Yeah, all right. All right, so now we are in the caves. And look, oh, we got a little bat friend. That's not ominous at all. It flies away when there's combat. Let's see. Ah, oh, we do have the X strike. We're just gonna cyclone, right? Cyclone. Yeah, we can cyclone those too. Slurp slash. Slaps an enemy with the tongue, then slash it. We got it. Get over here. This is back in the, uh, uh, in the old glory days, back when, in order to, uh, uh, in order to do, oh, crumbs. Those things don't take a whole lot from physical damage, so I guess I gotta use magic. Yeah, don't forget to equip the bats, that's right. I think it auto-equips the Masamune. I did just scorpion that dumb rat. Or actually, I scorpioned the bat. Now I scorpion that dumb rat. Aura world, just to keep everybody topped off. Doesn't cost too much. The tricky thing is, I don't think that, uh, come on. Uh, I don't think that Frog gets magic until after this point. Right? Like, I think if I, if I try and take him back to Specchio... Could it be that you wield magic? I thought only fiends could employ it now. You might be able to learn it too if you use it at the end of time. I think, but I think, like, if we go now, uh, he tells us to, like, press on. Oh, well, I mean, we may as well, right? Like, yeah, let's see if we can, yeah, we can leave and come back, so let's go on ahead and do that. Let's book it to the end of time. Dip back to the end of time, talk to Specchio, see if he's changed at all, and then come back and do this part.
Leave them to it. Can't avoid this one. Yeah, he kicked a rock at me. It's a good thing that those guys constantly respawn, because it does alleviate me of the guilt of killing them literally thousands of times over God knows how many years. To the end of time! Now there's a weird fella. Looks like his power is water. And a frog, who'd have guessed? Ipso facto minimo magico! Frog getting pumped. Frog learned to use magic. So, all fortified with magic. Wanna try it out? Yeah. Alright! Off the bat, he is flexing. Dude! Well, we cannot yet take Specchio. We ain't strong enough. Two shots just like that. Hmm. It's okay, though. At least it's low consequence. Yeah, he's gonna kill Marley in one hit. Oh, no. Way to go, Tuffy. He's gonna kill her in two hits. There we go. <laughs> I win! You make any new friends, you bring them to see me, you hear? I like you guys! Yeah. Yeah, Speccio don't play fair. And I always, I always love hearing, uh, hearing the old man's thoughts. And what a peculiar new guest. You're from the Middle Ages, yes? Yeah. Medina Village, no, 1,000, no. We'll take Frog on a wild tour of everything later. But for now, we've got water, so we've got magic. We can start learning his skills. And uh, let's do it, y'all. I think that we're going to go back to the Magic Mountain, and that is where we'll call it for this week. Try to keep this a little bit of a shorter stream, as I tend to do the longer marathon streams throughout the, uh, throughout the week. But... Ah, oh, I love this game. This this is exactly the palate cleanser I needed after the the horrible foul-smelling durian that was Resident Evil 7. Just a taste that some loved and I certainly could appreciate, but it punished not only me but those around me. And it's banned on uh, public transport in Singapore. I couldn't get the imaginary smell of the Baker House out of my head for, like, days. Alright, so that is where we are going to call it for the night. The Masamune. Five people. No, no, uh, so that's the weird thing. Uh, Resident Evil 7 did not suck. But it was extraordinarily hard. It was extraordinarily frustrating. Uh, I'll be playing it again on easy mode. Uh, yeah, but you have a sense of imagination, and the visuals are gross enough to implant smells in your head. Um, yeah, Resident Evil 7 was a fantastic, frightening game. Eventually, I think, it for me, it was too hard that it eventually stopped being scary and just became aggravating. Uh, eventually, it was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, gross things. Just hurry up and kill me already. Uh, Resident Evil 8 is a lot more fun. Uh, so we'll be playing that tomorrow. Uh, thank you, uh, TV Head. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I, I have no idea who you are, but thank you. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, I'm gonna, I do this several times a week. Monday night is Fantasy Poland Night, where I'm playing through The Witcher 3 with the help of my buddy Tom. 
uh, who lets me know important Witcher facts and also uh, what things in the game mean, since I missed out on playing it. Uh, tomorrow night, Sunday, uh, or s tomorrow afternoon, Sunday around noonish, I'm gonna play more Resident Evil 8. Uh, let's see if we can't run, uh, run away from, uh, uh, from hot, tall vampires. Um, we've already killed one of the daughters, and we feel sort of bad about it, because that's a hot mosquito. Um, let's see, what else? Saturday, yeah, Magus's Castle next time. Saturday is Chrono Trigger Days, and I may put up something throughout the week. So, uh, if you haven't already, like uh, this video uh, when it does come up. I put all my streams up on YouTube afterwards. Subscribe to the channel. Spread the word. Guys, I've got 27 subscribers, which means that I'm a quarter of my way to my first hundred. If I can get a thousand subscribers, I'm eligible for monetization on YouTube. Uh, I have to have a thousand or like four thousand hours viewed uh, in a year and well, let's be honest if you watch one of my streams like all the way through you follow me for a week I'll get that in no time uh, so please if you enjoyed this if you had a good time tell your friends have them subscribe I'm just an old guy who doesn't want to work for people anymore think capitalism sucks and I love playing video games so help me work for myself because working for other people is garbage, don't do it. Uh, as always, get vaccinated, get safe, uh, uh, wear your mask. CDC says that you can tongue kiss rats, you still shouldn't. Uh, and that's it for this time. See you guys next time. I'll be on tomorrow. Keep your eye on this channel, Resident Evil 8. See you guys later. Thanks for, thank you so much for joining me. It really means the world. I'll see you guys next time.